Hi, my name is Sasha. Welcome to the Mothership. This is a quick pick a pile reading. So take a moment and choose the deck that you're most drawn to. We're going to start with this one. We have the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. So there's a little bit of resistance in opening up to your own abundance um, and this has to do with really being centered in your life and the expectations you have for yourself along with your intentions and taking a hold of those ways and means to create a stable base and foundation for yourself and this is also about building good upon goodness and learning the cosmic law and also this has everything to do with you accepting your needs, wants, and desires and being able to participate in your own uh, manifestation of your happiness and your bliss. So another message around this is to really get into the flow of your own soul's destiny by tuning in to what it is you really desire and want. And that way you'll be able to more fully open up to these opportunities and these experiences that are coming in for you. And there's a need to really be receptive. Let's move to the next deck. We have the coyote, the seahorse, and the hummingbird. So this is a message that uh, you need to take some time of reflection and don't avoid doing this. Um, there's a reason things are not coming together and you cannot force them to come together right now. Uh, there's, a, there's a higher calling for your energy. Um, spirit is calling you and I'm told to use the word spirit. Uh, spirit is guiding you to what actually and truly makes you happy. And the calling is to be in this very present moment and to live your life moment by moment by moment. And this is really about being so centered in your own self that you know all the details of things that you need to know in the moment that you need to know them. So take this uh, time to watch and be the observer and know that there is a reason that uh, the divine aspect of yourself as well as your higher divinity is guiding you. Know that there is a plan and understand that we don't always uh, know how things are going to work out and they're asking you to drop your expectations as well as how you think things are supposed to go and follow the plan and the map that spirit has for you and let's move to the next deck we have the death card reversed we have the two of swords reversed and the knight of coins So this is where you sharpen yourself. There's nothing else you can do right now except sharpen yourself and get ready for what it is you truly desire because you cannot spend your time wishing, wishing things were this way or that way. This is the moment in time where you have to decide if you're going to take action or not. And you have to decide also what that action is. This is a period of time where you truly allow things to fall away and you embrace change and you allow your entire world to shift and change. And you don't hold on to these ideologies that don't serve you and that are actually not a reflection of who you truly are. So this is a moment where you have to get really clear with yourself and you just have to decide if you're going this direction or that direction and uh, there's also 
a lot of stability for you here. There's a strong base and this is where you will get your inner clarity and wisdom as well as being able to have that higher knowledge and wisdom shine through your very being. And this is truly where you will know the path for yourself and you will not have hesitation. You will also be shown how to create the solid foundation for yourself as well. <clears throat> 